flying. So we're gonna have to make sure we set up these things. So what we're gonna do, let's just go to the first cube. Let's create a new FSM. Uh, the FSM was called, uh, whoop, not the state, the state is flying. But the FSM itself needs to be called damage system. The exact same way, you have to have the same capitals in um, lowercase. And basically what we're gonna do is add a new one. Let's just get rid of, let's just copy flying and call this one idle to start one. And let's paste this in to flying. Let's create a new event, add event. And we're gonna say flying and we're gonna tick this little box. That's gonna make a global event. That's what this uh, little box is gonna tell us. And what we can do now is go add global transition and flying. So what we're gonna do is let's then uh, try and pick up this. I think that um, this one was all set up, the object handle. Let's just double make sure. Send object, that all looks good. Okay, so let's make sure we pick up the cube, the blank cube. And we can do that just down here, let's find Okay, so we have that in our sites. All right, so let's throw it. Let's jump into this one. All right, so you can see that it sent that event, um, which is really nice. And you can see that if I press play, it starts on, on that one. And if I, I might be able to pick it up again if I'm lucky. If I go in the same exact way. There we go. So that's, that's pretty cool. All right, so now that we know that the object's flying, is that where we can uh, establish the, um, the Raycast system? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, uh, what we, or what, let's think of the best, <clears throat> the best way to handle this. Let's say Action Browser, and let's say Raycast. And we're gonna raycast, let's say 0 0.5 in front because we don't want it to be too much. And we're gonna say in the direction of positive one, which is forward. Um, we're gonna store the hit object as hit obj. And let's just um, <laughs> let's just see if that's gonna give us some good options. So let's put that down. And we'll try and we'll try and pick one up and hit hit the object. Well, firstly, we need to try and pick up. Let's let's pick up cube. That's the one we want. Okay. Now, uh, it's cube. There it is. Okay. So we've got the hit object. So let's try and line this guy up with this thing and see if that raycast is going to work from position one 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 okay let's debug it and have a <laughs> let's have a look at what's um happening well okay so it's it's not actually even reaching outside the box so it needs to be needs to be bigger, so let's make this one. Let's go back to player, make sure we pick up the right cube. All right, so let's pick up cube one. Excellent. And let's select that cube. Awesome, so okay, so that way we've actually hit that, um, that first one. So now we need to create one that says if you hit an object, let's go to the next stage of the damage system. Okay. So, let's say hit event. We want to say hit something. So we, we hit something. So, oh, if I can spell, hit something. All right, so we, we hit something. So now let's create this. We want to send the hit event. So when we've hit something, we want to say hit event. So now we're in here. Now we want to get name. I think that's, 
Now there's one get name. We want to get the name of the hit object. We want to store the name as the object name. Cool. Now that we have object name, we want to do a string compare. Excellent. So we want to actually compare the string, the object name, compared to, and our bad guys are called capsule. <laughs> so we want to compare that to capsule. And of course, you can have different um, things to different um, guys. So let's do this. So we want to say, if you compare that to capsule, if it is equal, we want to say damage. Okay, damage. And then we can create this new one. We can even make it red. So we know, hey, we're doing damage to the guy. So if it's equal, damage. And if it's not equal, then let's just say, let's just say finished and then put it back to idle so that way we can wait until it's flying again all right so not equal finished every frame get every frame cool so that should be good and now we want to then send the uh, simple uh, damage thing to our, our dudes so in here we want to what's this guy doing so we didn't actually set anything up in the capsule so let's call this the damage system and to start off with we want to set a float the good old float and make it 15 doesn't have to be 15 we can make it 10 um, and we can create a new variable and call that health excellent and then we can say finished and hook that in, oh, hook that in there. And then we can say idle. And then we can create a new one. And we're gonna create an event and say get hit. And we wanna make that a global event. So let's click that, get hit, finished. So let's say he gets hit, um, give damage. Let's call that give damage. All right, so when he spawns, he gets a damage system. We're going to give him 10 health. We throw a box at him. We want to say subtract, float subtract, health. We want to subtract, oh, how much do we want to subtract when he gets hit by a box? Let's say five. And then once he gets hit, it's going to go back to idle. So now we need to send that via our cube. We want to say, hey, um, in here we want to say send event by name and you guessed it we went this one specify specify hit object and the FSM name we decided upon was um, let's call this the damage uh, AI it's called damage AI so let's call the FSM name damage AI and we want to send that event get hit. So let's go to cube and say get space hit. All right. So that looks good. And oh, sorry, that was no space. That would have uh, made it die. And then once it's done that, we can say finished. Go back to idle. It's finished delivering damage. And now we can do that. All right, so then uh, back in our capsule, uh, what I want to do is then say float in the idle, float compare. We want to compare the health to zero. If it is equal to zero, we're going to say uh, die. So that way we can destroy the character. So let's say destroy self. Excellent, so now uh, we want to say if it is equal, we want to die, or less than zero, we want to die every frame. So that way while it's sitting there, it can figure that out. Groovy, so that's all all good. I think that should, that should handle that. Um, for the time being, until we put a UI up on the screen, let's just put the inspector so we can see his health. All right, so he's got 10 health. 
let's um pick up a box just so we can oh wait sorry <laughs>